WWE Raw is moving to TV 14 rating on USA Network. Big E says he will be at peace if he can't wrestle again. WWE reveals WrestleMania 39 ticket on sale date. Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland crowned AEW World Tag Team Champions on Dynamite. And AEW announces All Out pay-per-view for September. The PG era of WWE Raw is over. Andrew Zarian of the Matt Men Podcast reported on Thursday that Raw will be moving from a TV PG rating to TV 14 beginning with next Monday's episode. WWE Raw first moved from TV PG to a TV 14 rating in 1997. The program then shifted back to TV PG beginning in July of 2008. WWE SmackDown has been rated TV PG since its first episode on August 26, 1999. The TV parental guidelines describe a TV 14 program as one that contains some material that many parents would find unsuitable for children under 14 years of age. While a TV PG rating is given for a program that contains material that parents may find unsuitable for younger children. During an interview with TMZ Sports, Big E opened up about his potential in-ring future. Big E suffered a broken neck during a tag team match on the March 11th episode of SmackDown while taking an overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex at ringside from Ridge Holland. The spot went wrong and Big E landed on his head, fracturing a C1 vertebrae and C6 vertebrae. Big E has said that the plan is for him to get more scans at the one-year mark and see how things are progressing. Big E then told TMZ Sports that he's doing really well and is able to live his life pretty normally, noting that he really got lucky because it could have been a lot worse. When asked if he thinks he'll be back into the ring, Big E said that they're taking a wait-and-see approach. TMZ then asked Big E if he'd be content if he were never able to wrestle again. Worrying about it and stressing about it only hurts me. It's not useful. I think I'll be at peace with whatever happens. Whether I can wrestle again, I'll be at peace with that. If I can't wrestle again, so be it. My limbs work. WWE has revealed when fans will be able to purchase tickets to next year's WrestleMania. Tickets for WrestleMania 39 will go on sale to the general public at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, August 12th. The two-night event is being held at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California on Saturday, April 1st and Sunday, April 2nd of 2023. Single and two-day combo tickets will be available to purchase through Ticketmaster. Those interested in ticket pre-sale information can register for a mailing list that's been opened by WWE. Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland are the new AEW World Tag Team Champions. Swerve and Our Glory captured the AEW Tag Titles on the Fighter Fest episode of Dynamite on Wednesday, defeating the Young Bucks and Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks in a three-way. Strickland pinned Starks after a swerve stomp to secure the victory, ending the second tag team title reign of the Young Bucks. The title victory is the first in AEW for both Lee and Strickland. Keith Lee joins the promotion in February, debuting on February 9th on Dynamite. Swerve Strickland's signing was announced at the Revolution pay-per-view on March 6th with his first AEW bout taking place on that week's Rampage episode. AEW is returning to the Chicago area for All Out Week in September. The promotion officially announced the All Out pay-per-view for Sunday, September 4th, during this week's Fighter Fest edition of Dynamite. The now arena in Hoffman Estates, Illinois, will again host the show. Additionally, the building will also host Dynamite and Rampage in the days leading up to All Out. Tickets for all three shows will go on sale this Friday. That's your quick roundup for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you would like to chat more wrestling with me, you are more than welcome to hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. Before you go, make sure to check out some of our other content.